What's up guys, it's Track, and it's no secret that I love Singapore Nerf. So we've got a few things on the patch wall from Singapore that are all like really, really cool patches. We've got the Nerf Singapore 10 year anniversary patch, which actually came from Gavin. Thanks Gavin. Uh, we also have a Division X, which is one of the best teams in Singapore patch. And then also we have probably our most exclusive, most prized patch is our ex-veteran from uh, our uncle Hing out in Singapore over at Explorer. So this is a package from Singapore Singapore. It's from my friend Gavin uh, out in Singapore and Gavin is easily one of the most talented 3D designers in our entire hobby. He's always been very humble, very subtle about it. Gavin is old blood nerf no matter how you slice it and I am uh, honored and privileged to call him my friend. Uh, this was actually sent to me specifically from his uh, Etsy store. It's his spamp kit. And so you know that the 3D prints are gonna be of exceptional quality. And uh, this was sent to me through Gavin from a patron. So uh, no special treatment, no nonsense. A lot of people have built these already, but I've, I've loved this kit for a long time and wow, does it look great. So we've got a small hardware baggie here. We've got the body kind of attachment in here and then the front here and the way that these nest together just looks brilliant which is at this point what we what we expect from Gavin. We've also got an alternate pusher to kind of modify the Falcon Fire Breach but instructions are not even necessary. This should be remarkably easy to install. Let's take it downstairs, let's throw on the head cam and let's build something really cool, really awesome, old school style. Let's go! All right guys, so here's the kit. It looks like it's going to replace most of the Falcon Fire properly. Uh, I was originally going to install it on my red Falcon Fire thinking that I would need a uh, red Falcon Fire, but I don't. It seems like the color of the kit more or less determines the overall color of the blaster with gray being the accent and then orange being left over. And then I guess the white up top, we might get rid of the white, make the white black and then paint this black. We'll see what happens. Uh, a little bit of vinyl dye never hurt anybody so we're in here hooking with our deburring tool to relinquish this we've got plenty of propaganda installed let's get rid of the propaganda and get at it so uh, step one's gonna be to dissect this guy let's go all right guys so Gavin's design has a built-in plunger the plunger is a pusher as you can see there's a clean shot through it as opposed to the stock Hasbro one uh, which does not have that feature it's actually got a full-on air restrictor inside so we're gonna go ahead and break this then we're gonna take Gavin's design Slide that home, seems quick, easy, and to the point. We're gonna maintain this plunger and we're going to see if we can't find a slightly better spring. I wonder if I have something from Nerf Turf that might be a good fit for the Falcon Fire. I'm actually, I'm running low on springs. I've been doing a lot of Springer mods recently. As far as the intuitive design of this Omni mag release, which will handle both katanas and talons and how easily, flawlessly, this all fit into the uh, the shell for the original blaster here. It's, uh, it's a thing of real beauty. It's amazing uh, design. Hats off to you, Gavin. Can't wait to uh, stitch this whole thing together. All right, guys, so we're in here. We've greased everything up. We've examined our plunger. This is, of course, the stock spring. A uh, little flimsy. We wanted a little bit more power. Uh, this is, I couldn't find an appropriate Nerf Turf spring, so I went way, way back into the vault, and I found a bunch of old orange mod work spring. This was their Vulcan X2 spring so it has two times the power of the original Vulcan it's definitely tougher than this guy uh, but it's not long enough so that was my issue is that we've got the one versus the other and it's not long enough however uh, Gavin includes this as a compressor for the original spring and since the IDOD is so similar the compressor plus the Vulcan spring I'm hoping gives us a lot of extra pop and power so we're gonna go ahead and throw this bad boy into our plunger you might notice that our plunger has been perfectly painted precisely and then we're going to throw this back on and so I think with that, we uh, should be in really good shape. All right, so with a little bit of paint, this turned out pretty slick. I kind of wish it had an orange tip. That would be a great way to take advantage of something like the Prusa's two-tone printing, but I do love the Gavin Fuzzy down here, and I like that there's two portholes here on the off chance that you wanted to add. I guess there's space for worker rails, actually, if you really wanted to get cute and clever with it, but let's go ahead and take a talon. I prefer talons to katanas. I think that they're just uh, strictly better geometry and 
It's a little too soon to know with the DZP uh, where those magazines are gonna fall, but I went ahead and I painted up the plunger tube here so that there's no white on the blaster, and then I painted up the grip as well, so there's now two different colors of off gray, uh, which is pretty slick, and then of course the red from Gavin matches. Of note, the barrel seems to be pet G, which is super duper cool because it's kinda got a loaded ready indicator in it. The, uh, the chambering of the dart into the barrel is visible through this window, that's just, Good design. What are you doing? What it? Why does this? Can somebody in the comments explain why do dogs think pine straw needle bundles are? This is not a toy. She's like anything is a toy if you want it to be. If you believe hard enough. Anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and put the spamp over the chronograph again. This is a really funky combo which is gonna be hard to replicate. It's Gavin Spring Compression and the Vulcan 2X from Orange Mod Works, which to be honest, I don't even know if it's sold anymore, but it was an identical fit in terms of ID OD. So let's see what we got. 116, 112, 115, 111, and honestly, like that's a pretty good indicator. Let's put a couple down range and just see what that feels like in half length dart world, but it doesn't feel bad. Now, not all that glitters is gold. This is an amazingly priced kit. Falcon Fires can be gotten crazy cheap right now. The blending of this line into the Hasbro shell is fantastic. It's a really slick kit. The only thing that I don't love about it is that the rail here uh, on the Hasbro plastic, and part of it's that I painted it, and then the rail transition onto the uh, 3D printed plastic is a little funky. You wanna make sure that you really seat forward before firing. The trigger pull is a little bit different, but honestly nice, and I like that you replace uh, that orange trigger with something from Gavin, which means making this bad boy red, black, and gray was easy. Got it up in Halloween colors when you combine the orange magazine. And overall, just like a really fine product. I think this one's a huge win. It shows just what an amazing designer Gavin is. His ability to blend seamlessly into somebody else's work and design DNA is crazy cool. This uh, FPS threshold for my personal spring combo is uh, very reasonable for events like End War, events like Ragnarok. In fact, it will probably make the journey to Ragnaroktoberfest with me, uh, which for those of you that aren't, in the know is uh, the West Coast's premier HVZ, um, almost just overall celebration of the hobby. It has a lot of things in common with End War, complete with a tiny uh, convention. I'm a big, big believer in it, and I will be flying out there to attend it this year. So I'll put details for RAG down in the description box below. I will, of course, link to Gavin's uh, Etsy store where you can pick up a spamp kit. They tend to sell out pretty fast and he makes everything in house, but everything from the right size offset, the inclusion of the hardware, all of the 3D print fit just being fantastic and a really easy transition into the Falcon Fire. I Made mean, this a super fun, super quick, super easy build, giving me a really slick uh, Talon or Katana Magwell that uh, delivers the hits. I like this a lot. It proves that not everything has to hit like a truck. This hits plenty plenty hard and still looks really good uh, doing it. So I'm, and it's consistent to boot. So I'm really happy with it. That's the Spamp. It's got a very Mauser-esque feel to me. And I, uh, I don't know, who knows, maybe that's what will uh, clickbait people into checking out another really incredible maker in our hobby with. But uh, that's the Spamp, AKA the Mauser, AKA the Falcon Fire Reborn. And it's a strictly superior blaster to the original breech loading system. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, much love, Nerf on Drag out.